Well, now to some news on the environment. The organization La Mujer Obrera received a $500,000 air monitoring grant from the Environmental Protection Agency. But that wasn't the only thing that happened today. Our KTSM 9 News reporter Oriana Botara joined us live from the Chamizal Community Center in Oriana. The organization also led what they say is an environmental justice toxic tour. What is that all about? Well, Estela, the purpose of this tour was to highlight the environmental impact of pollution that has plagued residents here in the neighborhoods of Chamisal for years. Among those are the socioeconomic, environmental, and health concerns. Now, I did go on this tour today with the organization. We stopped at the Bridge of the Americas, Bowie Bus Hub, the Salazar Public Housing, Savala Elementary, all locations that are crucial places for the community. Hilda Villegas with Familias Unidas de Chamisal explains some of the dangers that were found during a preliminary study UTEP conducted, which found Douglas Elementary had high levels of lead. Take a listen. When we talk about the exposure to children, they're more susceptible because they don't understand that it's lead and that it's harmful. They play in the dirt, they put it in their mouth, they're constantly exposed to it. And like I said, we are talking about very minimal traces, very minimal levels of lead that can cause harm, that it's unrepairable to children. Now, that was just a snippet of my conversation with Villegas. Coming up tonight at 10, you're going to be hearing from the project manager of La Mujer Obrera, and she's going to be talking about how they plan to allocate that money that was awarded to them today and what their next steps are. For now, I'm Oriana Botaro reporting in the Chamisal Community Center. Estela, back to you. Okay, Oriana, thank you. And you may remember just last month, the General Services Administration, or GSA, selected a no commercial traffic option in their draft and environmental impact statement for the Bridge of the Americas upgrade project. The public has until November 4th to comment on that EIS. We have information on that at KTSM.com.